I think of rape culture as being the sort of ubiquitous complex of social and cultural beliefs and practices that make it okay for us to excuse or tolerate, you know, sexual aggression and then also sexual violence. Implicitly or explicitly supports actual rape or sexual assault or the myths of it. That violence is normal, that boys are normally violent or aggressive. A system of treating women as objects, that it is acceptable to see women as always sexualized. It's difficult to actually name any films that don't, you know, sort of celebrate some form of rape culture. Bros before hose, right? Yeah. I'm the cunt you married. He made you look desirable, which in your case can't hurt, sweetheart. Those are her classy sweatpants. They don't say insert here on the app. Look, I'm going to be totally honest with you. I forgot you're here. Do you think you got what it takes? I'll tell you what I got. Your wife's pussy on my breath. This is my bargain, you mewling quim. Even when you have very strong women characters, um, the threat of rape, because we live in a rape culture, the threat of rape is always, you know, there. It's a, it's a sort of constant. Um, in general, I would say that American films still tend to present female bodies as more spectacular than male bodies. Men's bodies are put on display, um, but to a much lesser extent. Most of the blockbuster films you see have to do with men beating on each other or shooting each other, or throwing each other. So it's all about men and male aggression and good male aggression versus bad male aggression. The women in these movies, if you know, typically have to be, they're just like the arm candy of one of the men, right? Or or maybe they're a supporting role, you know, maybe they're um, they're messing with a computer in the background or something, or you know, maybe they can do something, but it's very rare that um, the woman is the protagonist. It's interesting, ever since the advent of second wave feminism and then later what was termed girl power in the 90s, there has been a big push towards treating young, attractive, female characters as being extremely competent, physically strong, mentally smart, uh, brave in their character, willing and capable of fighting and defending themselves, which is generally a positive thing. What seems a little odd is that films try to play it safe in terms of not turning off an audience. They want to have their cake and eat it too. So the female characters nowadays are often much stronger, smarter, and more capable, and yet they also still have to be beautiful. They still have to have very slender bodies. Um, they have to conform to very traditional standards of what female physical attractiveness means. Are these films then just representing women who are able to exploit existing um, social structures without actually doing anything to combat and change them um, versus um, actually attempting to change the, sy change the system. So I think there's a long way to go before women on screen are actually represented in a way that accurately reflects and does service to women in the real world.